Over the last few years, traveling the world looking for deadly animals, there's been one that I've heard more crazy stories about and has, I guess, captured my imagination more than any other. And that's why we're here in the Sea of Cortez. These guys are fishermen. They're heading out looking for the exact animal that we're trying to find. They call it Diablo Rocco, which is the Red Devil. And they tell stories of them actually ripping fishermen from their boats and tearing them to shreds. Now, I don't know about any of that, but what I do know for sure is that this is one of the most dangerous animals we're going to see on the Deadly 60. And it's called the Humboldt Squid. The dark depths of the Sea of Cortez are teeming with Humboldt Squid. But catching one requires serious effort. They're fearsomely strong and can be as long as a car. These fishermen usually catch the squid for food, but tonight we just want to come face to tentacle with one. Camera. We're a little in. So what's happening now is these guys are putting lines way, way deep down. During the day, these squid are about 200 meters plus underwater, but now it's kind of dusk time, the sun's going down, and they'll be starting coming closer and closer up to the surface to feed. So they're just going to trawl around, see if they can pull something in, and when they do, we'll see our first squid. I have so much respect for these fishermen, dragging up squid with just a line, a lure, and a whole lot of sweat. We've got something big coming in. I'm so excited. <laughs> How much line has he put in here? I see it. I see something. I can see a light shape coming up towards us. Here it comes. Oh no, look at that. Yes. Yes. Wow. Look at the colors pulsing down the body. I can't believe it. There's the beak and he's pointing out to us there. That's the danger end. I can't believe he's letting his fingers get that close to it. Look at that, it's like a giant, like a giant parrot's beak. And it can cut straight through flesh and even bone. It would easily take off one of my fingers. Right, look down the length of all of these tentacles. Each one has sucker cups running all the way down the length of it. And every one of those sucker cups is ringed with razor sharp teeth. Look at that. They're like, they're like the teeth of a piranha. They slice straight through flesh and they use those to catch a hold of slippery sardines and small fish that they're going to be eating and draw them in. I don't believe it. 